Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Channel 781 event highlight, I think is what we're going to call this. Um, so today we are going to be talking with one of the organizers of Waltham Pride. Um, there is a fundraiser coming up on Tuesday uh, that we want people uh, to come to and be aware of. And also we want to talk a little bit about Pride itself. Um, so please uh, welcome uh, Nick Hammond. Thank you. Um, so Waltham Pride, I'm going to give, I, I'm going to try to give a little bit of history. Um, Waltham Pride in its newer iteration um, kind of popped up around 2020, 2021 um, when a group of people, myself included, um, and Nick included as well, um, we were just looking around and realized that uh, Waltham had never done a public pride ever. Um, there are some past groups uh, from the like 80s and 90s, and I'm sure earlier than that that I'm not aware of, um, that had a history of LGBT organizing in Waltham. Uh, there is a uh, there was a group called Way Out Waltham that if you go digging for, uh, you'll find some arch uh, archivist uh, material, which is really interesting. Um, and but no one had ever like uh gone to the waltham common or gone to a public place and proclaimed pride like in waltham that's never that's never happened and so uh we all got together and said that we're gonna do it you know it's it's just something that is possible and we want to do it and we're gonna do it so in 2021 we did it uh outside of uh lucy gellis's uh backyard um i thought it went great it, uh, it was the first public pride in the history of waltham um and then in 2022, we did it on the Waltham Common, which is a little more public than somebody's backyard. Um, and it was, uh, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a great event. You know, one of my favorite events we've ever done. Um, 2023 just happened. Um, another great event. It was, the weather was a little shittier. Um, but it was great. I'm actually going to share my screen. I'm going to show the um, uh, photos from 2022. Um when it was really nice out, uh, we were really blessed to have a great day there. Um, so just a really nice uh, gathering of people, you know, gathering of organizations. Um, we had great speakers, great musicians. Um, one last year, one of the uh, Waltham High students that came out as trans uh, came and spoke. I thought that was super powerful. Everyone cried. Uh, mayor came in 2022, did not come in 2023. Um, and and yeah, we were just it's all just a great time. It's a great time. Um, so uh, it's coming up this year. So I have a, I've been very much not involved uh, with the planning this year. So so Nick, you want to talk a little, little bit about what's going on this year, and then you can jump right into the fundraising. Yeah, sure. Um, so this year, uh, Pride twenty twenty four is going to be happening on a Sunday this year. Um, it's it's going to be taking place on the Common. It's June sixteenth, um, and the event time um, is eleven a.m. to four p.m. So if you've been to Waltham Pride before, we've this will only be the third time we've had it on the common, but it's going to look pretty similar to how it's looked the past two years. There's going to be um, tables from, you know, nonprofit organizations, um, local vendors, um, food vendors. Um, we'll we'll probably have a, a couple of food trucks and then there'll be speakers from um, different local organizations or individuals and then also performers. Um, we've got a couple of drag performers, some um, you may have seen if you've been to Pride before, but we, we booked a couple new ones that are going to be new this year. So we're still working on planning everything out. We don't have a schedule, but it's going to look pretty similar to how it's looked the past two years. And that's going to be, um, again, on the on the Waltham Common, uh, June 16th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, and then I guess I'll just go right into uh, kind of plugging our fundraiser. So we are holding a fundraiser to help us pay for everything we need. Um so Tuesday, March 26th, which is coming up uh, really soon, we're going to have an event. Uh, it's called the Fundraiser Social because there's not really, uh, you know, there's not a, a, a requirement to to donate anything or, or to buy anything, but you can show up. Um, there'll be members of, you know, the, the Waltham queer community there. Um, and it's a queer owned business. It's, it's, it's in Watertown. It's called Ritzy East. Um, you can find the um, address on our social media posts, but um, we're going to have some appetizers and then, you know, you can feel free to to stay and, and, and buy a drink or buy food for yourself. But we're also going to be holding some raffle prizes. So we were lucky to get a couple donations from local businesses and and individuals. So um, if you follow us on Waltham Pride on Facebook or Waltham LGBT Pride on Instagram, we're going to start posting um, the raffle prizes as they as they are arranged. So right now we've only announced one. We had um, the the bookstore more than words donate like a prize package um includes some books a notebook some markers um 
and a gift card. Um, I've also collected some gift cards from uh, places like the Tea Leaf on Moody Street, Tempo, um, Gourmet Pottery. Um, there's a couple other businesses I'm forgetting, but we're gonna we're gonna be posting all the all the potential prizes that you can win. So, um, in order to to if you want if you're interested if you want to donate you can donate anytime at wallfampride.org/donate. Um, that links straight to our um, GoFundMe, or you know you can pay with cash if you're there on the day, or if you want to donate um, virtually on Tuesday. Um, every five dollars you'll get a raffle ticket. So only thing is if you donate online and you're not there in person. Um, GoFundMe doesn't really show that much information about you, um, especially if you click anonymous. So just put in like either your full name or your email address or your phone number or both just so that if you do win the raffle, we actually have a way to contact you. Cause if not, we can't, we can't, we have no way of letting you know, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and hope that we can, um, you know, it's going to be a fun time, but also hopefully we can raise enough money to like achieve everything we want to achieve for the actual event uh, in June. Yeah, I think, um, and first of all, it's all very exciting. Um, I think last year there was this, uh, because we did this last year at Ritz East, I think this is the only fundraiser that we have planned right now. Um, so, you know, you can you can give money at any time. But if you're really looking to just like, you know, be in, be in queer community together, this might be the only chance before Pride, um, unless we put out something together. So if you would like to if you'd like to do that, if you'd like to hang out with like-minded people, if you'd like to just talk while them just talk being queer um this is a good time to do that and also on the fundraising piece i want we want to we want to be clear that uh waltham pride is not a 501c3 we're not a nonprofit. we're not like a, a for-profit group this is just a group of people uh with a gofundme and just like uh, volunteers that are putting things together and so israel this is all grassroots funded um and uh they make it happen every year, which is really cool. It costs thousands of dollars. Um, so so please come on Tuesday and please come to Pride itself. It's going to be a great time. And Nick, please plug one last time uh, the dates and times. Yeah, sure. So the event, I don't remember if I said the time, but the, the event, uh, the fundraiser is happening at Ritzy East. That's Tuesday, March 26th. It's from 6 to 8. So we'll probably do the raffle drawing closer to 8 p.m. Um, but like I said, if you can't make it, you could donate anytime. But Chris, thank you for mentioning, like, it's also a social event. So it's a good opportunity to meet some people. It can be a little bit awkward at first, but like yet yeah, last year, like, you know, cause it's a bit of a smaller space and people there's like dining tables, but people just like kind of mingled and I made sure to go up to tables and talk to people in it. And I, I met a lot of people. So that was really fun. A lot of people I had not met before. So definitely a good opportunity. And then the event itself, um, the actual pride event is going to be held on the common um, 11 to 4 on Sunday, June 16th. So hopefully you can join us and hopefully we get uh, nice weather, nicer than we had last year. But even last year, it was a great event, even with the rain and it's kind of cold. So hopefully we get luckier this year. And it's been really fun the past two years. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. And thank you, Nick, for doing this. Uh, we actually had to move the the date around because Nick, you're getting married around all around the same time. So I'm with yeah, so we didn't move it just specifically for my wedding, but I am getting married on June first. But there's other reasons we moved it too. Yes, but, um, but yeah, it'll so, be exciting but, to yeah, be able to will, celebrate. With yeah, you. and hopefully, yeah, exactly. And hopefully, um, it gives opportunity um for more people to join, like. I think in the past it's conflicted with um, Watertown Pride. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to make sure we're not conflicting with Boston yeah. Pride or Watertown Pride. There's another event. Um, there's some other events that some, but there's so much going on in June. It's tough. But anyway, yeah. The, yeah, the 16th is what we landed on. The common was available. So we grabbed it. And yeah, hopefully if you couldn't make it in the past, you can make it this year. Well, looking forward to celebrating with you as a, as a married man. Thank you. Well, I'm thank you for too. coming on. Thank you so much.